What's going on? Welcome back into another video. And today, holy mother of God, happy new year. It is 2022. What a what a wild 2021 it was. I, I mean, personally for me, I graduated, got a job, moved to Dallas, Texas. I'm officially a Texan. Um, did all the film stuff, got my first screeners and things like that. And it was a year. It was a very long year. It was a very stressful year, but it was also a very uh, impactful year in my life. And you guys are a big part of that. I want to thank you all so much for continuing to follow along on this ride. 2022 is going to be another monumental year for the channel. Hopefully, we hit a thousand subs this year. If we haven't already, hopefully, we hit a thousand subs this year. So, um, but I will. What a great throw to my to my pitch. If you like what you see. If, you're, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. One of my goals for this year is to hit 1,000 subscribers. We are extremely close. I really thought we were going to hit it at the end of last year. And we might have. I don't know. I'm recording this way in advance. But I don't think we will. So what I'm going to say is my goal this year is to hit 1,000 subscribers. We are extremely close. We are less than 300 away. I would assume we're less than 150 away at this point, hopefully. Um but please, if you've not already, consider subscribing. It does mean the absolute world. If you already are subscribed, please share. Um, it means the world. You know, a tweet, uh, a retweet, a an Instagram. It means the world. We're so close. All my friends hit a K last year, which I'm very happy for. Jennifer, the damn recording is Jennifer hit it yesterday. Jennifer, if you're watching this, congrats. Freaking amazing. Um, I'm like the last one. I'm like literally the last one. So let's get to a K. Let's do it. Let's start off the new year right. Let's get to a K. Uh, but today, since it is the new year, uh, yesterday I did my top 10 favorite movies of 2021. The day before that, I did my top 10 worst movies. Well, we're into 2022. Let's quit looking at the past and let's look to the future. Today is my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2022. And the slate is incredible. Uh, movies are back. Um, and I'm very, very excited to talk about these films today because... We don't know anything about these films. Like we just we just don't. Um, but they're going to be a lot of fun, and I'm just looking forward to a lot of these films. So let me know down below in the comments what is your most anticipated movie of 2022. I think I know what a lot of people are going to say, but you may may, may be different. Um, but I think without further ado, let's just get into the list. I have five honorable mentions that I'm going to hit really quickly, and then we'll get into the top ten. Uh, Fifteen is John Wick Chapter Four. It's John Wick. I'm excited for that. Uh, 14 is Don't Worry Darling. It is the follow-up film for Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde directed Booksmart, which was one of my favorite films of 2018. Um, and this one stars Florence Pugh. So I, I'm incredibly excited for this one. Uh, it comes at number 14. 13 is Thor Love and Thunder. I think this one has the potential to be a lot of fun. Really, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the Guardians and just uh, Taika Waititi back at the helm. It's going to be awesome. Uh, 12 is Asteroid City, which... We don't know if this is coming out this year. It's speculated that it is. I'm not sure yet, but it is the next film from Wes Anderson with Tom Hanks, Margot Robbie, Scarlett Johansson, the normal cast of characters as well. Um, I think that this one's going to be a lot of fun. I am, I'm really looking forward to it. And 11 is Killers of the Flower Moon. It is the next film from Martin Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Jesse Plemons, just to name a few. And it's Scorsese directing, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. And it is, uh, it just missed the list. It just missed the list. But coming in at number 10, and you guys are going to facepalm when I tell you this, but it's Ambulance, the, the film by Michael Bay that comes out, I think, in like February. Look, I like a heist film. I like high-speed chase films. I like films like that. Uh, you've got Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaya Abdul-Mati um, and... and uh, Isa Gonzalez, I believe is how you say her name. Um, maybe the trailer spoiled the whole film. I don't know, but it looked like fun. It looked action-packed, and I'm looking forward to it. It's one of the only films that we really know anything about right now. So I put it at number 10. I love me some Jake Gyllenhaal. Michael Bay does what he does, and I love heist movies. So I'm looking forward to it. That's just me. It comes at number 10 on my list. Coming in at number nine is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is the greatest animated movie of all time. It is my favorite animated movie of all time. Um, and this one just has the potential to be even bigger than the first one. Um, I'm really looking forward to having Lord Miller back uh, with this. 
Um, I'm excited to jump back into this world, explore the multiverse even deeper in the Spider-Verse. And we don't know a lot about it. If I look at the letterbox, um, it just says continuing the story of Miles Morales and the other spider people from different realities. We know nothing about this film except for the fact that it's coming out this year. Uh, I know we're supposed to be getting like a teaser or something for it soon. Um, that was teased that we're going to get something soon for it. But I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be an incredible film. Comes in at number nine on my list. Coming in at number eight is Lightyear. Um, another animated movie. This is the last animated movie that we have on this list today. Um, Chris Evans' Buzz Lightyear is absolutely perfect. I love the animation. Uh, I think it looks stunning. The first trailer was awesome. It didn't give anything away, but it still got me absolutely intrigued and wanting more. Um, the, in, the origin story of an iconic character, Buzz Lightyear, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I am so excited to see Chris Evans' take on the character and Pixar, do your thing. This is my most anticipated animated movie of the year. I think it's going to be absolutely incredible. And it comes in at number eight on my list. Coming in at number seven is Knives Out 2. What a cast. Daniel Craig is back, of course. Dave Bautista, Catherine Hahn, Ethan Hawke, Edward Norton, Kate Hudson, uh, Leslie Odom Jr., Janelle Monet, just to name a few. Um, I loved the first um, Knives Out. Obviously, it's in my top 100 favorite movies of all time. Ryan Johnson is an incredible writer and director. Y'all can say what you want about The Last Jedi. I actually enjoyed it. Um, and I'm so excited to see the continuation of this story. The first one was so awesome. It was so impactful. It was so funny, quirky, and also serious. I'm, I'm very excited to see what whodunit Ryan Johnson comes up with next. It's going to be awesome. And it comes in at number seven on my list. Coming in at number six is Mission Impossible 7. Mission Impossible Fallout was is by far one of my favorite, if not my favorite, action pure action movies of all time. Um, I love everyone involved. Christopher McQuarrie knows how to direct action. He does it extremely well. And this is the continuation of that series. We get everyone back. Haley Atwell is in this. Vanessa Kirby. Um... Rebecca Ferguson, Simon Pegg, Tom Cruise, of course, we get all the classics, but we get, it kind of seems like we're getting everybody back, and we've seen some of the stunts online, something with a train, something with a, a, a motorcycle off of a cliff, uh, we've seen a lot of stuff, I know Tom Cruise does all of his stunts, uh, are we going to get it this year, I hope, like, we'll see, I'm really excited for it, I love Mission Impossible, and it comes at number six on my list. Coming in at number five is Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. And I know, before you say it, before you say anything, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Crimes of Grindel wasn't great. I enjoyed it for what it was. It wasn't great, but we can only go up from there. Um, I love the world of Harry Potter. I love the just magical, mystical, you know, just the world of it. Um... And I, I'm extremely excited to see where it goes next because it, like or hate the last movie, it, it we left on a huge cliffhanger. I'm incredibly excited to see where this story of Dumbledore goes with Jude Law. We get Eddie Redmayne back as well. And we get Mads Mikkelsen as Grindelwald. Now, look, I loved Johnny Depp as Grindelwald, but obviously there are things off screen that are more important um, that we should be considered. I think Mads Mikkelsen is a, an incredible replacement. I'm so excited to see his take on the villain. And we. this is... It has the potential to be great. So please be great. Please, please, please be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And it comes at number five on my list. Coming in at number four. Well, <laughs> how perfect. One Ezra Miller movie and now another. It's The Flash. This is this has been and will be my most anticipated DC EU. I'm saying that particular DC EU film. That's a teaser of what's going to be further up on the list. Um, we, we're getting it's multiverse. It's also the multiverse. We're getting Michael Keaton Batman. Bat Flack is going to be back. We're getting um, and then of course Ezra Miller's Flash. Who I enjoy his interpretation of the Flash. I love Grant Gustin's Flash. He's always going to be my favorite. But Ezra Miller's Flash, I have been sold on. I like. I think is great. 
I don't know what this film is. And I kind of love that. I love not really knowing. We got a, like a little teaser trailer at DC Fandom this year. That was kind of it. What's going to happen? I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, it comes in at number four on my list. Coming in at number three. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. Coming in at number three is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Um, I mean, what is there to say? I think that this film... So everyone's talking about No Way Home being the earth-shattering film. Um, I'm recording this before No Way Home, by the way. Um, they're talking about this being the earth-shattering, multiverse-shattering MCU film. I think that it will have an effect, but I think Multiverse of Madness is going to be the earth-shattering film in the MCU. Like, I truly believe that. I think that this is going to be the craziest film the most wild film it's going to there's a lot of, going to be a lot of stakes involved and the potential is huge we get scarlet witch back we're going to have benedict cumberbatch and wong of course and this is going to be the one because we keep teasing the multiverse you know we teased it in spider-man far from home talked about it in uh loki um and maybe in wandavision i don't really think wandavision had anything to do with that but loki we talked about it we're talking about it in venom let there be carnage and then we're talking about it in no way home um, this is going to be interesting. I don't know what to expect. I'm incredibly excited. This one is the one that's going to put the MCU on its, like, shake up the MCU. Um, yeah. And it comes in at number three on my list. Coming in at number two. God, I want to have this at number one, but there is something that just cannot leave number one. Coming in at number two is Babylon. And if you guys do not know what this film is, this is the newest film from Damien Chazelle, my 1A or 1B favorite director of all time, director of La La Land, director of Whiplash. Um, the newest film from Damien Chazelle, set in Hollywood during the transition from silent films to talkies, focused on a mixture of historical and fictional characters. That is the synopsis of this film. Holy crap, I'm excited. And... Listen to the cast. Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, Samara Weaving, Tobey Maguire, Spike Jones, Olivia Wilde. I, just to name a few. Um, holy crap, this movie is going to be incredible. I can already tell. It's Damien Chazelle and he's talking about Hollywood and old Hollywood. I, My excitement cannot be contained over this film. It's going to be incredible. Um, I am just so i want it now can i have it now please like how do i have it now i want it now i am so excited for this film it's going to be another masterpiece i think it's going to be my favorite film of the year if i'm making predictions i think it's going to be my favorite film of the year i'm i'm just so excited and it comes in at number two on my list but coming in at number one i wanted babylon up at number one so so bad but I would be doing myself a disservice if I did not put The Batman at number one. The trailers have been epic. The score is incredible. Everything we're hearing about Robert Pattinson is Batman. Like, Zoe Kravitz did an interview and said he's incredible. Andy Serkis is Alfred. Paul Dano, Riddler. I, I, like, just, I am just so excited for this film. You guys have no idea. The potential here is large. I'm, I, I trust Matt Reeves with my life on this film. And I it's going to be incredible this is going to be the best dc movie that's ever been made i know i i always make fun of people that make these generalizations beforehand but i truly believe it from everything we've seen and i'm a nolan fanboy and i love the dark knight i think that this is going to be the best i am so excited for this film the trailers we've gotten have been absolutely incredible who would have thought a dc movie would be my number one most anticipated of the year i did because i think it's going to be most people's number one most anticipated of the year i'm so excited for this one it's going to be absolutely fantastic and it comes in at number one on my list but guys that is pretty much it go down below in the comments let me know what is your most anticipated film of 2022 i just talked about 15 of them there are so many more that are coming out this year as well that are going to be just as fun and exciting so go down below in the comments and let me know what is your most anticipated movie of this year. But guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you all so much for taking the time to click on the video. Uh, please, if you have not already, consider subscribing. Let's start off the year hot. Let's get to 1K as fast as possible. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want you all to have a great rest of your day. And let's start off 2022 with a bang. We'll see you in the next video.